Okay, in this sentence, we have this guy, Mr. V. And we have the clue here that he's not a nice fellow. Why? Well, he's snapping. Notice that. Snapped at the heels. So snapping at the heels. Like imagine a little dog biting, rough, biting at someone's heels. So not a nice guy. And we can also see he's contrasted there. Notice in the sentence, he's not as smooth as these other guys. He was more blank than his smoother, prede smoother predecessors, that is, people who came before him. So what is he? He's not a smooth guy. He's snapping, so he is more, well, definitely wants some negative word. And so aggressive works. He's more aggressive, more unpleasant, not a nice guy. That's, again, what we're going for here. This is our own word. O W, ow, own word. So, what words are going to work here? Well, we know it's a sentence equivalence question, and we know we need two answers that are usually synonyms, of course, very similar words. So, we go through here, and we start with A sporadically. That means off and on. This guy seems like he's pretty constant in the way he's snapping at people's heels. Not a smooth guy, not a nice guy. So, sporadic means off and on. That doesn't work. So, out with sporadic. Irascible, aha. Uh -huh. Irascible person is a, like a grumpy old man who gets upset all the time, very short-tempered. No one wants to be around an irascible person like Mr. V. So that works well. And then we have C, which is persistently. Well, persistently could work at the blank as well. Someone's constantly stabbing. Sure, that, that could create a synonymous sentence. But wait a second. These words are quite different. To be persistent is to be constant at something versus to be in a bad mood and mean and unpleasant. So we're going to keep it. I'm going to put my little squiggly sign there, meaning that we're going to keep answer choice C, but it's probably not going to be the answer we want. Probably something a little bit closer. But if there's nothing closer, then that means that must be the answer. But there's probably going to be something else there that creates more sound sentences. And aha, we see pugnacious. Think of a little dog, a pug. What's a pug like? It yaps, it snaps. And if someone's pugnacious, they're aggressive and they're in your face. And that sounds just like Mr. V. He is this irascible, angry old man. Well, we don't know he's necessarily old, but he's definitely snapping at and angry with people. So he's irascible and he is pugnacious. And there are two answers. Now, interesting to note here, to be irascible, to be short-tempered, is not quite the same as to be aggressive. So even these two words aren't exact synonyms. They're not really synonyms, but they're creating synonymous sentence and sentences, meaning this guy is going to be either be really short-tempered or he's simply going to get in your face, but we don't want to deal with Mr. V. And again, that's why B and D, though not perfect, synonyms, synonyms are answers, and C, persistent, isn't, because sentence is a little bit different. He's constantly snapping at someone's heels, but he's not necessarily mean about it, and that's what B and D do. They create that synonymous sentence.